Platinum Games Network, NBA Live 16, Rising Star, Year 3. I'm playing as the Boston Celtics. Currently, I'm on the bench halfway through the season. I pretty much have to win most of my games to make the playoffs, but I'm in the running for MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. Now, NBA Live 18 revealed recently at EA Play, huge dunk by Kelly Olynyk. So it was revealed recently at EA Play and it's gonna feature a brand new game mode entitled The One, which is gonna mix the streets, the Drew League, and the NBA into one cohesive game mode and you'll be able to progress your players' um, games and his points throughout the experience. So supposedly it's gonna feel just as important to have success in the streets as in the NBA. Now, I feel that this is the game mode that NBA Live needs to get people's attention. A lot of 2K fans love playing my park and the street mode experience. And this is completely different. No VC credits. Um, little server issues. So, it should definitely make an impact in bringing new fans back to the series. NBA 2K18 has not um, shown any game footage. So it's only been live right now promoting themselves. 2K has nothing. And I just feel like this is the moment for live to get his name back out there. A lot of people are going to try it that didn't try it two years ago. And it might just change how they feel about basketball games. I, for one, have been playing NBA Live for years and I've already seen a couple things that I've loved better in NBA Live than 2K and for me when I play 18 it's gonna feel like a big improvement but for the most part I already knew what Live brought to the table for some people the things that I found amazing in Live 14 and 15 such as the crowd atmosphere and the, the noise and the street and, and the sounds a lot of things that I loved in NBA Live 14 people are going to experience for the first time in NBA Live 18. And that's exciting. It really is. Oh, almost got the backcourt. All right, let's see what I can do right here. Pass it off, take the shot, and he misses. I played the first quarter with the ESPN camera. It's the camera that I favor. I don't really like the 2K camera too much. He makes the first shot. So, I'm very much looking forward to NBA Live 18. A demo releases in August. It's gonna give people a chance to really see what they're about. And I'm happy that they're releasing a demo. It shows that they're not embarrassed of their product. They have no shame in showing off what they're bringing to the table. It should be a very polished game. It's rare for us to get um, sports games that are they have a two-year development cycle. They usually only have a one-year releasing every year with a new version. So as I was saying in the last video, I don't understand why people depend on the shot meter so much. In real life, basketball players don't need a shot meter. When you're playing with your friends in the streets, you don't need a, a shot meter. You just gotta fill of the shot, and you take it. Missed there, but it was still a good attempt. I feel like there's no challenge in using a shot meter. It's to each their own. If the experience is less frustrating and you enjoy the game more with the shot meter, by all means. But me personally, I like the challenge of trying to figure out the best shot trying to figure out the best approach without the help of a player icon a meter I don't need to be known I don't need to be told who to defend I don't need to um, I think in the new NBA live there's this little icon that shows whether or not the defender blew by you or whether you blew by the defender I don't think I need that I think I can see if I blew by the defender like right there I got in there they fouled me but <laughs> 
I definitely got past uh, Michael Carter Williams. I'm currently down seven points if I make this and I missed it. I held it too long. Don't have too many steals in this game. I'm pretty much leading the league in steals. Let's see if I can speak one into existence. Pick him up. All right. Damn, I thought we was going to get that. All right, here we go. I have some NBA Live 16 videos available that I recently put up of me playing at Seattle Pacific University. And it showcases the Summer Circuit Pro-Am mode that we had in NBA Live 16, which is similar to some of the components that you're going to find in, oh, NBA Live 18. Another thing I didn't talk about from for NBA Live 18 is the new traits that your character is going to be able to have that will give him certain boost in the game if you complete certain tasks. Like if I get a couple successful assists, the next time I do it is going to be almost a sure shot. You can have hot streaks in the game, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice bounce pass, and he still missed. We need to get control of this game. We're currently playing on the road, but that's not an excuse. I'm going to start embarrassing them. 9-1 run for the Milwaukee Bucks. They now have a 14-point lead after only having like a 6-point lead. And I just, oh, I thought I passed it up. Nice. Quick, quick, quick drive. Come on. I still feel like NBA Live 16 looks beautiful as a game, and it feels beautiful. I don't know how it looks on YouTube. YouTube always degrades the videos. But on my television set, NBA Live 16 looks beautiful. And I'm playing on the PS4 Pro. Oh, left him wide open. And almost picked him up, but it wasn't enough. And now I'm in front of everybody. Made it look easy. I'm not going to just lay down. I'm trying to make the playoffs. I'm trying to win MVP. It was my goal to win MVP and get those trophies before and win the finals before NBA Live 18 drops. This is the last Rising Star season I'm going to do here. So it's all or nothing for me. I need to win. Woo! And one. Let's check out the player interaction. That's me driving. Knocked him down. Had a lot of momentum. First free throw is good. Pick him up. Damn. All right, here we go. Got a shot. And it's no good. But I still got a teammate point for taking the open three. And we off. Ha, they blocked the shit out of me and fouled me. And I'm taking the shot, and I missed. Currently down 13 here in the second quarter. It's going to be a fun game, a fun finish. If you're a Bucks fan or a Celtics fan, definitely check it out towards till the end or at least skip forward and he's out of bounds in the second half I'm going to switch back to the ESPN camera maybe play a, a quarter the third quarter with the 2k camera not sure no good I knew that wasn't going to be good Somehow got that in. All right, let's beat him to the punch. Come on.
Yep, I set up the open teammate and it wasn't enough. Oh man, they embarrassing us now. 16 point game, man. I gotta play aggressive before it's too late. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Look at that shot, the way it hit the net. I need to get my signature steals. Wow, nice shot. Trying to get in there. Take the shot, boy. Woo! 12-point game. Every time they try to cook it up, we cook it up. That's how you play. It's all about how you finish. What's more important in a buck? The middle or the end? Come on, come on. Nice block. Let's go. We out, we out, we out. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, Kelly Olenek. That was an alley-oop for your ass, boy. We need to finish strong at the end of this quarter. Let's go. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, good. We got it back. Give it back to me. Ah, oh, I took the shot. I was cocky. All right, we're still down. Only 12. All right, I'm out. Nice. They had no chance. I want to get another angle from that. All right, this angle's not going to show me much. <laughs> I got bumped, and then I did a little hop. Pick him up. Good job, good job. Let's go. We out. All right, single digits. Yo, we do not give up. We were down 16 not that long ago. Come on, come on. Oh, how I missed that. 12 seconds. Oh, nice dunk. All right, let's go fast. Even if it's just a two. The assist from number 15, Greg Ah, uh, try to see if I can make a three. 